Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday we witnessed a very sad situation in this country when people were demonstrating against high cost of living. We have families that are going hungry without even a single meal. People cannot afford basic need. So it was time when they turned on the street to send their, the message to the government on how they feel to express their feeling, to express their anger and a disgruntlement against this government. As this was happening, the sad situation was that there were goons who were planted in that mass action and in other specific areas to destroy and loot properties. In Spectra International, uh, East Africa was under attack. Uhuru Kenyatta's one of the property, family property was under loot attack and at night it was set on fire. Now it is ashes. As all this was happening, the man in charge of this country as of now is William Rudolph's deputy, Rigadi Eshagwa. And so, we have youth from Mount Kenya region who are hustlers, of course, who have a message, strong message, to regard the Gashagwa. According to them, they believe that Gashagwa might have been behind the plan to loot properties, burn Uhuru uh, property, and even cause injury to those people who are demonstrating. And they are telling Gashagwa that it is going to be very hard back in the village when the youth that he has used as of now, in fact, he has radicalized them, and now they are bloodthirsty. Because once you kill someone or start destroying property, then you become radicalized. When you get back to the village, you would want to transfer what you have been doing to the village. And the youth are telling the Shawa to please stop this. They have a reason why they are demonstrating and they will continue. First of all, listen to them, then from there we will go deeper into this discussion. Tafadhari bwana gashagwa na ibu wa rais. Iyo mawaso tafadhari jalibu utupilie mbari sana na usifanya kitu kama hicho. Sababu baada ya kufanya vijana wa uwane, wakirudi nyumbani wataenda kuwa watu huko kwetu moranga. Watarudi nyumbani na hiyo ndamu ya kuwa. Na wataanza kuwa madugu zao. Watauwa wazazi wao, watauwa watu sababu wa shauwa, wamezoea kuwa. Kwa hivyo, watu wakai nyumbani kama mtu haendi maandamano, wenye tunaandamana tuandamane, kwa sababu hiyo ni haki yetu ya kikatiba, na tutaandamana mande, na tuandamane Thursday, na siku ingine ambayo itakuahitajika kuandamana, mpaka, mpaka wakati ruto atasukisha tax. Hii tax nyingi unatuwekea buwana rais, diyo upate pesa ya kuripa kidero, Kidero ni mtu wakupea every month one million na bishop wanjiru. Watu wenye wakona pesa na, na unawaripa na pesa zetu sisi wanyonge. How comes unaweza finyiria hoka kama mimi? Mchuuzi wakulandaranda na mari yangu ni kiusa mimi ni kupatia tax wendo ukalipe watu hamsini pesa hiyo yote. Buwana rais tafadhari. Wacha sisi tuandamane kama huwesi tupatia haki yetu. Dunia yote ijue ya kwamba wa Kenya kuna wengine wenye wanararamika kufinyiriwa. Dunia yote ijue ya kwamba wa Kenya tunatoswa kodi na inatumika vibaya sana zaidi ya hata afadhali utupe unatumia taxi yetu vibaya sana rais kwa hivyo sisi tutaandamana na tuambia hao watu wenye wanatumwa kuzuia maandamano mnatumiwa vibaya hiyo ni kutumiwa vibaya sana serikali iko na jukumu ya kurida mwananchi na mali yake Uwache kupanga pangu wa hapo ukiambiwa ati wewe ni business category Ati wende ukaride marie, marienu Unaripa kodi mari yako iridwe na polisi Usiyo jukumu yako wewe kuenda kurida marie Now we are continuing the panel discussion But just a quick request for those who are watching And you are not subscribed Please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. And I say thank you so much And again to all our viewers Please give this video a thumbs up Thank you so much and back to this discussion now, this is one question that many Kenyans are asking themselves today. Why is it that Kikuyus have been incited against the other Kikuyus 
when Kalenjin are now uniting, I'm saying this because the Kenyatta family properties is under attack. But if you check back in Rift Valley, we have more properties. Those properties are protected. In fact, not long ago, the Moi family got a contract from the government to do with the issue of uh, power generation, ge generating. One of the company associated with Gideon Moi got a contract. So in one hand, these ones are fighting their leader, and on the other hand, the other side is being protected. That's a question we need for Kikuyu's to maybe answer. But what I'm learning from these guys who are addressing Rigathe Gashagwa, they are well informed about the economy and how the government is being run. There are serious questions they are asking here. That when you send people to destroy Uhuru Kenyatta's property, how does that one affect us? Is there any way these things is affecting us? How does it make life affordable for us? It's not helping in any way. Instead, we are seeing someone trying to bring anarchy in this country. Where now the situation is going to be very hard because it will be man turning against another man. Anarchy normally is something like this. What this youth understand is that this government is the one that is making high cost of living in this country. The reason behind this, they are telling the government very clear that you are overtaxing us to go and pay people like Kideo, people like Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. I mean, you are taxing we poor, the pe poor people to go and pay rich people. So they have confirmed one thing to Gashagwa and whoever cares, they are going to be in the mass action. They are going to demonstrate as long as high cost of living is at play. They will demonstrate until this government will lower the, high, the, the cost of living. So going to destroy Uhuru Kenyatta property is not going to help. It will not stop people from demonstrating. They understand that their taxes is being abused when you go ahead and uh, appoint 50 CSS whereby everyone will, will be pocketing more than a million shillings at expense of taxpayers money so they understand that the money that, they are, that that is being used to pay these people is being collected from them they are the one who are being taxes imagine taxes are high and then the, the cost of living is high. But the government is still employing rich people here in appointment that does not make sense. These were just reward to politicians. So they are telling this government, look here, we will demonstrate, we will not stop until you sort out the mess as far as the issue of high cost of living is concerned. They are also worried that when you take youth, then you send them to go and destroy property to kill people. These people normally become radicalized and they turn to be bloodthirsty. What do you expect them to do when they get back to the village? Today they got some goods, ships from Uhuru's farm. They have sold, they got money, others have slaughtered, they have got a meal. The day they will lose that meal, the day they will not have that thing to loot, what are you telling these people? What will they do in the village? Are you not turning this youth into the Mungik, which was destroyed a long time? It means they will sort back to such kind of chaos. So if there is any man who is encouraging anarchy in this country, according to this youth, then it is William Ruto's deputy. That is the message they have for William Ruto and for Gaza Gashagwa. So, it is clear, poor people are being oppressed. 
and even brutalized by police officers. They are being oppressed at expense of serving the interests of few rich people, like Kidero they have been able to mention. And a few youth are being used. You are being told that, oh, you are a business person or you are in business category, so we are recruiting you to go and protect pro properties. The question that these youth are asking to Gashabwa, what is the work of police? Why are police drawing a salary? Why are you taxing us? You tax us because you want to provide security to us by paying police officers to provide security to our property and to we Kenya. So when you come back and recruit youth to go and then you tell them they're going to protect property. Yet at the end of the day, the real goal was to go and destroy property. What are you telling Kenyans? So the message is clear to the Shagwa. These youth are saying that they will not stop going to demonstrations. They are going to continue with the demonstration. The only way for the government to stop this is to lower the cost of living. Once you bring Unga at seven shillings, there will be no demonstration. Once you reduce the, 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 the price for fuel, so that border border riders will have fuel at affordable price, and even those who are using will afford the matatu industry. The, 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 you know, those who use the matatu, those who use the border border in transport, they can have affordable means of transport. That is how you will reduce people from the street. But if you continue with this uh, counter, you know, stupid way of countering the demonstration, it will not work. In fact, you have just encouraged more people to go and demonstrate. That is the message from the, the youth to Gashagwa. They will continue with the demonstrations.